another power generating spacewalk outside the space station, a commercial resupply spacecraft heads to the station, and sharing the experience of a ride aboard the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On June 9th, NASA astronauts Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg conducted a spacewalk to install an upgraded International Space Station Rollout Solar Array, or IROSA. This is the fifth of six new IROSAs being installed to augment the station's power system. The sixth is scheduled to be installed later this month. Once all six are installed, the station could generate more than 30% more power. And liftoff of CRS-28, go Falcon, go Dragon. The new International Space Station rollout solar arrays were delivered aboard the SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft that launched to the station June 5th from our Kennedy Space Center. The Dragon also delivered new science investigations, food, supplies, and other equipment for the station crew. This is SpaceX's 28th commercial resupply services mission to the space station for NASA. On June 5th, NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Koichi Wakata talked about their SpaceX Crew-5 mission to the International Space Station during a post-flight event for employees at NASA headquarters. They also visited with Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy and Associate Administrator Bob Cabana. The Crew-5 astronauts spent 157 days in space. An independently appointed review board determined that actions taken by NASA, our Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Caltech to put the Psyche mission on track for an October 2023 launch have been outstanding. The Psyche spacecraft will travel to and study a metal-rich asteroid of the same name. The board was convened last summer after the mission team requested to delay the spacecraft's August 2022 launch. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twang.